It's International Women's Day, so let's celebrate our favorite women in games. We will be exploring our favorites throughout PC and console games. There are so many amazing and strong leading ladies in video games, and it's too hard to limit it down for our list. Though we praise and love so many out there, here are our picks for the top 10 female characters in video games. Number 1. Aloy She is one of the most popular badass characters of the past couple years. And with Horizon Forbidden West recently released, it just builds on her character and how badass she can be. To put it simply, she's strong, she's smart, she has so much sass and has such great comebacks to people, and she really demands respect for herself and the people she cares about. Aloy is the sass master. Aloy is amazing at killing things and just battling other people and machines, but making that her defining feature does her and woman a disservice. Her sense of humor, her compassion, and her grit are equally as important and really defines who she really is. And we get to see her grow in ways that we all can relate to. What's really great is Aloy comes from a matriarchal society because it forces the writers to create an interesting female character without the baggage of being considered a weaker sex in the society she comes from. And although she's stubborn, we get to see her loosen up and really learn to trust other people. And that just shows a lot of character development that we all can learn from. Number 2. Bayonetta Okay, if you haven't played any of the Bayonetta games, you should because she is probably the most sexiest, empowering, and just badass character too. Up there like Aloy. But she isn't just too badass. She is composed and unflappable for the men in the game. And she's even too much for the player. Bayonetta combines strong and sexy into a character who is rarely objectified within the games. The best thing about Bayonetta in the game is that this game, although it is a hack and slash, she is a type of character that is easy to play but tough to master. And even with button mashing, you always feel in control of the flow of the action. Bayonetta is a witch and she uses her own hair as clothes, which magically disappears from her body when she summons demons. She fights angels with high heel revolvers. Bayonetta herself is an excellent example of a strong female protagonist who fundamentally rejects sexual objectification. She is a great character in the far too limited field of female main characters in games. I mean, think about it. Her character is unlike any other characters we know. She's strong and compelling, not because she avoids sexualization as a character, but because she subverts it while demonstrating a superlative amount of personal agency in games. Bayonetta has a strong personality, and not just because she can summon demons and destroy anything that opposes her, she's a main character who deals with problems in a cool, collected manner, and keeps control of almost every personal interaction she has. She has great insults, great quips, deadpan expression when needs to be, and her wordplay and jabs is really fun to hear. And she just never loses her cool. Like, wow. <laughs> when a male character flirts or leers at Bayonetta, she just verbally disarms them. She stands out as a strong female character despite her sexualization because she always maintains her agency. With that being said, I just can't wait to see more of her in Bayonetta 3 that's coming out soon this year. Number 3, 2B. She is one of those characters that is very popular amongst fans, both in her personality and in her character design. There's like so much cosplays of her, and she even has cameo appearance in numerous other games. 2B specializes in frontline combat, and she's able to wield two weapons and use a large variety of combat styles. Her personality is cold, collected, and quick thinking in dire situations. She disdains from open displays of emotion, believing them to be unnecessary, although she hides her emotional trauma and anger over the missions she is forced to complete. 2B has so much character development than you might realize. When you replay the games, you can see her dialogues with 9S after completing quests has deeper meaning. 2B's backstory is pretty sad. She always have to constantly kill the other person that she loves to the point where her memories of 9S become painful. But this is the only way for them to meet again. And she promised 9S that she will continue killing him to ensure that they'll meet again. Her story is very unique and very sad and depressing in general. Her character development isn't easily exposed to the player. It's a lot like a puzzle that we have to try to solve. She's one of those characters that have to be tough and just deal with the hardship of her life and her responsibility. In the game, there's no room for her development as easily because she needs to accept her feelings for 9S in order to have her develop. That's why we feel sad for her. The only time she could accept her love for 9S was her death. Only that time she didn't need to see her love die by her own hands. This is why we love her. Although she is a person who follows orders, she is tormented by following the bad ones. So I would say she has a really good sense of morals. She is a good person. While she fulfills her orders, she takes no joy in them and is trying to save his life without exposing who she is and what she's done. Number four, Lara Croft. When you mention women in video games, the first name that pops up is Lara Croft. She is one of the oldest and popular female characters since 1996 to now. She is an archaeologist and adventurer. She's considered one of the ultimate action hero because she can handle whatever puzzles or enemies she has to face. 
Also, fun fact, did you know that between the first release of the game until 2003, she appeared in the game every single year? So that just comes to show that she's a standout hero in the gaming industry. For most of the first decade of her existence, Laura was lauded as a strong female character. Laura Croft is one of the very few game characters to transcend games and become a huge pop culture icon. She always said that she will kill to survive and to protect others from Trinity. Number 5. Faith Connors Faith Connors, also known as Phoenix Carpenter, is the protagonist of the 2008 action video game Mirror's Edge. This game is presented as a runner, and Faith transports items for revolutionary groups hiding from the totalitarian government. Faith's design was intended to appeal both male and female audiences, and, her, and balanced her edgy attitude with the game's clean and minimalistic aesthetic. Her character received a very popular reaction, and a lot of attention being given to her character design. She has been featured on many top character lists, and is well received as a strong female character. Faith Connors just really makes us believe that we can be our own hero and be a total badass with all this parkour. She's one of those characters that gave us a newfound confidence that may or may not be a little bit dangerous. It definitely made me want to do parkour. In Mirror's Edge, we rarely see Faith Connor's reflection only in mirrors and in cutscenes, but we still connected with her, with bits and pieces of her attitude in the story and those amazing leaps throughout the city. Number 6. KDA now, in League of Legends, there are many, many, many female characters that are amazing, diverse, unique, and strong. But we decided to narrow it down to a popular girl group in League of Legends called KDA. In KDA, we have five main characters here. We have Akali, a deadly assassin, Ari, our fox demon, Evelyn, the alluring demon that brings out the villain in us, and Kaisa, a strong marksman with a deadly instinct. Now, the five female characters in this band all have unique backstories and strong character personalities, but they also have a really great presence in their music pop group. Riot Games really bring a true sense of personality to them by not just with their songs, but by having clips of them like interacting with other characters and just giving short interviews with us, the players, making us feel like they are real and believable and that we can relate to them. They boomed in popularity, not just in their music, but in their character choice in playing the game. And, uh, and we just want to be them because they're just so strong and just so cool. To put simply, they're not your typical girl group. They are a killer, badass girl group. And with amazing music that just doesn't get tiring to listen to. Number 7, Samus. Samus is what you call silent but deadly. Samus fights against really tall and huge monsters, one of them being Ridley. In addition, Crane is also equally as huge. And Samus fights these guys like it's nothing. Samus easily destroys her enemies and completes her missions like it's nothing. She destroys Mother Brain in her first mission. She's basically like as if you go into a job and she doesn't need to do training. She just does it like it's a piece of cake. She destroyed the space pirate base on Samus, helped end the galaxy's phase on Crisis, she destroyed the deadly Metroid species. I mean, she saved the galaxy numerous times. Like it's nothing. Like it's her part-time job. And to add on, she was once the weapon unit for a spaceship. Samus can be the example of how to do a female character right. Most often female characters are sexualized or dumbed down or made to be a Mary Sue character, which are basically perfect characters who have no flaws and no character development. Also, the fact that Samus is a woman, it's just a part of her. She isn't defined by it. Number 8. Siri. Even though you play Siri for a short amount of time, her gameplay and her missions in Witcher 3 are some of the most memorable and fun to play. Playing as her is so different than playing as Geralt. For starters, she teleports around like it's nobody's business. Her blink ability is awesome. We get to see how Siri develops as her own badass character and slowly master her powers by the Elder Blood. Controlling her is absolutely a blast. We get to blink around like it's no one's business and slash enemies left and right so easily and it's one of the most satisfying moments in video games. For someone who has been been on her own for pretty much a long time, Siri has done a great job holding her own against seemingly insurmountable forces like the Wild Hunt. Siri is beloved by the Witcher community for being compassionate, quick-witted, and incredibly stubborn. She is not just the princess of Sintra, she is a formidable fighter who is not to be underestimated. What makes Siri even more of a badass is that she defeats the White Frost. And the White Frost is meant to be a terrible event that lays waste to anything and everything in its path. So when we get to see Siri have the power to defeat this imposing force, that just shows how powerful she really is. Number 9, Clementine. Clementine is known for her amazing personality. She starts off very innocent and a kind little girl who is very smart for her age. However, as the game progresses, she begins to grow stronger and becomes more understanding of the tough world she is in, though does keep her childlike innocence. 
Talk about being so aware. There are some moments in the game that really shows how cool Clementine is. One example will be her first walker kill. If you take her to Crawford, she makes an amazing shot and saves Molly's life from a walker before Lee could. But she killed it before it could get upstairs to hurt her or Ahmed. Gotta remember, she's 9 years old and she learned how to shoot. Another amazing moment is that if you fail to kill the stranger, Clem will save you by shooting him straight in the head, making it her first human kill. Clementine isn't your damsel in distress. She's a very strong and complex character that grows throughout the games. She is equally gentle and strong. And in the most difficult situations, we see her use her humanity in the best way. And lastly, she is a reminder that there is good in the world even when it seems so bad. And lastly, number 10, Tifa. She is arguably the female lead in the most popular Final Fantasy game. She is really well designed with an amazing backstory. Tifa is also a very caring girl when one looks past her badass fighting exterior. She is the character that many look as as a true love interest for Cloud for a good reason. And that reason is due to her caring nature, which leads to why she always sticks by Cloud despite any issues or faults he may have. Tifa is very reserved, taking a much more calm approach to Cloud and her feelings for him. And she's the type of woman that plays a long game in order to get with who she likes and that is what she's going for with Cloud. And that's one of the most refreshing parts of her character and a truly defining piece of her personality. She also has an awesome fighting style and will take on the toughest enemies with her fist alone. That's qualification enough to be recognized as one of the coolest characters in the series. Overall, she's really well-rounded and that makes us the players really relate to her and connect with her and just want to be her. I want to be able to fight with just two fists. <laughs> So there you have it. That's our top 10 favorite female video game characters. Let us know who you love to play as and who you love the most or who you would add to the list. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to see more content related to video games or anything else geek related. And be sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Like always, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.